The 150th Kentucky Derby is fast approaching, and the city of Louisville is loading in the gate with the final preparations for the historic event. Included in these plans are the Gallapalooza horses. Created by the Brightside Foundation, Louisville's Sidewalk Derby was created as a civic pride initiative to beautify the streets and encourage exploration, generating over $1.4 million. Horses were added in 2004, 2009, 2015, and this year, 150 new horses will make an appearance. Appearance, one of which decorated by the Backside Learning Center. The Backside Learning Center is a resource center. We're a nonprofit organization based on the backside of Churchill Downs, and we serve the entire community of Backside workers and their families, both at Churchill and here at Trackside Training Center. While the backside of Churchill Downs remains empty till mid-March, just a couple miles away, the Churchill Downs Training Center is still bustling with activity, providing the opportunity to award recognition for all their hard work. We were contacted by the Brightside Foundation. They were interested in gifting us one of the 150 horses. So we contacted the artist that we've been collaborating with for the past year or so. Her name's Sarah Nori. I'm honored to be here on behalf of Gallapalooza and the Backside Learning Center. Um, with the hope of spreading awareness about all the wonderful people who work at the track. Every day they work with these horses and they're the reason why, you know, the derby happens the way that it does. And I just wanted to do something to honor all their hard work and their stories, their individual lives that come together to really, you know, create this tremendously important part of what we consider to be Kentucky's heritage. The concept that she came up with was putting handprints of workers all over our horse as an important symbol of all of the individuals and the effort and time that is behind horse racing. When I thought about what was the best way to represent the story of the track side, I wanted to focus on authenticity and individuality. So instead of painting a mural or a picture of it, I thought, why not do something really literal, but also just like a really unique way to show the individual hands that touch the horse every day. Because really, like when you see the way the trainers and the hot walkers and everybody really are hands on with these animals, I just felt like, wow, it's hard to conceptualize that. So maybe if I show it with literal handprints, it will be a way to honor them. And then we're taking their photo and they have a name so they'll be you'll be able to scan a QR code on the horse and that will connect the handprint with the face. We're really thrilled to have such a great turnout. We're going to have at least over 100 people for sure, um, which is just a fraction of the population here in at Churchill. There are close to 1,500 people who make horse racing possible at these two tracks. I feel really good that we have the trust of this community and that when we have events, people show up. I think people are really interested in being a part of it and, and leaving their marks on this horse statue that's going to be around for a long time to come. The personal choice of what color the person was drawn to and then just kind of using the sculptural aspect of the horse itself to direct the traffic or direct the flow of hands. How are they touching the horses when they would give them a bath or lead them around? So I kind of thought about, okay, this might be the way they would touch a horse when they're working with them every day, but then also the horse is like a sculptural object, how your hand kind of uh, moves over different parts of the body. There is a lot of attention around Derby 150, which is super exciting, but I think the aspect that probably gets less attention are all of the workers and all of the hot walkers and grooms and exercise riders who have been around throughout that whole time and long before that taking care of horses. It's such an important part of our culture. It goes back hundreds of years here in our state and really just taking advantage of this opportunity when there are so many eyes on Churchill Downs and the Kentucky Derby to really bring awareness of this very important community that makes it all happen. Enough can't be said about the importance of the Backside Learning Center. They're really one of the only organizations in the country that do what they do as a non for profit and they're there as an educational resource, a place where people kind of have like a safe haven. So they provide so many things from other resources for health, learning, government assistance, helping support the daily seven day a week life. They also provide after school support for children so they have homework help. Enough can't be said for what a wonderful resource it is to the community. Me llamo Jose Cano. Eh, trabajo de asiste training para Philip Bauer. Bueno, estamos, estoy acá porque este, estamos celebrando el 150 aniversario del Kentucky Derby y vine a dejar mis huellas al caballo que están haciendo. Yo pienso que es importante desde el 150 aniversario del Kentucky Derby 
porque nos da este trabajo a muchísima gente acá en Kentucky, en Chuchonaos. Our horse is going to be in front of the Louisville Thoroughbred Society, which is in the 200 block of East Main Street downtown. It's going to be on display between April and October. And then we'll see, we're looking for a donor that would purchase our horse for $6,000. And then we can figure out if we want to have it in front of our building or on the backside of Churchill. So all the horses are up for purchase for $6,000. We're going to try to find someone to purchase it and then we can have it on display forever on the backside. To learn more about the Backside Learning Center, please visit the link in the description below. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you at the races.